Hello and welcome to the OHSU Department of Dermatologic Surgery. During this video, we will briefly describe the Mohs micrographic surgery procedure, including the risks, benefits, and alternative treatments that are available. If you have any questions after the video, please be sure to ask your team of providers before surgery. It is our goal to provide you with the best outcome and a positive patient experience. Mohs surgery is named after Dr. Fred Mohs the surgeon who developed the technique as a microscopically controlled surgery used to treat skin cancer, typically of the head and neck. It can also be used to treat large, recurring, or advanced skin cancers throughout the rest of the body as well. The Mohs technique is often chosen because it offers two main advantages over traditional treatments for skin cancer removal. First, it has the highest cure rate for instance, an untreated basal cell carcinoma has a 98% cure rate when treated with Mohs surgery. Second, it leaves behind the largest amount of healthy, normal skin tissue, leaving you with the smallest defect possible. Smaller defects mean smaller scars, especially when compared to traditional methods of tumor removal that involve wider margins of excision. Prior to your surgery, you will be asked to sign our informed consent document. Please read this thoroughly and ask any questions you may have before signing. So what we're going to do today is numb up that area I've marked out and we're going to take it off with a very small margin of normal appearing skin around the obvious skin cancer. We'll check the margins under the microscope while you wait in the waiting area. And if there are any skin cancer cells extending to the sides or the edges, or at the deep edge, uh, we'll bring you back in and we'll take a little bit more tissue only where it's positive. We'll keep doing that process until it looks like it's all clear under the microscope. Then we'll bring you back in a final time. You'll have a defect that will be a little bit larger than the spot that you came in with. And we'll find the best way to stitch that together with sutures to give you the best cosmetic outcome. All right, that sounds good. Do you have any questions about the procedure today? No. While your surgical team gets ready, the treatment area will be fully numbed so you should feel no pain during the procedure. We begin by scraping the visible tumor using a surgical tool called a curette to define the edges of the cancer. A narrow sliver of normal appearing skin is then removed around and underneath it with a scalpel so that a disc shaped piece of skin is removed. Normal bleeding is stopped with electrocautery and a pressure bandage. The removed skin is mapped, oriented, and marked with colored ink before being submitted to the technicians to process. The specimen is then frozen, cut, stained, and placed on a glass slide. Your surgeon then carefully examines the slides under the microscope to look for any residual cancer. Each removal and processing of the skin tissue is called a stage and takes approximately one hour during which time you will be welcome to wait in our Mohs waiting area, including the fifth floor observation deck. If skin cancer cells are seen under the microscope, your surgeon maps the area of concern. You will then return to the procedure room, the affected region will be renumbed, and additional tissue will be precisely removed and submitted for another stage. This process is repeated until the deep and side edges are clear of cancer. To clear the majority of skin cancers, it takes one to three stages of Mohs surgery. Once your surgery is complete, there will be a wound which can vary in size, but will always appear larger than what you saw during the initial examination. To repair this remaining wound, your surgeon will review your options and recommend the method that will likely result in the best cosmetic and functional outcome. The benefits of Mohs include a smaller surgical area and the highest cure rate for skin cancer. However, as with all surgical procedures, there are risks involved as well. Complications with Mohs include, but are not limited to, bleeding, infection, scarring, unsatisfactory cosmetic results, damage to underlying structures such as nerves and blood vessels, and recurrence of skin cancer in this location. Sometimes, due to the location of certain tumors, there may be nerve damage to the area. This is often temporary, but in cases with larger tumors in sensitive areas, the nerve damage can be permanent and may result in loss of function or sensation or weakness in the affected area. Common alternative treatments for certain selected skin cancers may include electrodesiccation and curatage, also known as burning and scraping, 
Simple excision, which does not include rapid on-site testing to assure complete skin cancer removal. Cryotherapy or freezing of the tumor with liquid nitrogen. Topical chemotherapy cream for two to six weeks. Radiation or x-ray therapy. Choosing not to pursue any treatment is an option, but may result in a cancer that continues to grow and may eventually spread to the nerves, muscles, cartilage, or bone, or in rare cases, metastasize to lymph nodes or other organ systems. Oregon Health and Science University is a premier academic institution providing cutting-edge treatments for skin cancer, including specialized laboratory testing not offered elsewhere. We are a referral center for the entire Northwest region for challenging and advanced skin cancer management and have expertise in complex facial reconstruction after skin cancer removal. Throughout your day, you will meet many members of our outstanding team, including our nurses, lab technicians, students, residents, and fellows. Our department is active in both education and research, which provides additional opportunities of engagement for our patients. Thank you for your attention and for choosing OHSU for your healthcare needs. Your surgical team is happy to answer any additional questions you may have, either before, during, or after your procedure.